peace and love, family. Peace and love. It's your boy Chris and Light and coming back again with some more spiritual vittles. And today I'm going in on death and how you can help. Ooh, this is a good one, family. This is a good one. Death and how you can help. Ooh, this is a good one. And this is a serious one because um, everybody dies. You gonna die, I'm gonna die, everyone you know gonna die. But there's some things that you can do other than sulking that you can help your transition ancestors or even loved ones. You know, one thing about me, my ancestor altar is for sure for my ancestors. But there are a lot of people that I know that have transitioned that aren't in my bloodline, but I love them just as much. And I'm here to tell you, family, I'm not gonna let those people suffer. If I know there's no one in their family with an ancestor altar up. I'm going to put them on my altar too. But that's just me. So when I'm burning ancestor money, I'm talking about, um, I, well, this is something that I say. I say my divine prayers and I always say this is for my ancestors known and unknown and my loved ones. This is for my ancestors known and known unknown and my loved ones. Because I have people on my, a plethora of people on my ancestor altar that aren't in my bloodline, but I love them. I care about them. I wish them well. I feel it's my need to give them light until someone else on their family within their bloodline decides to do it. You know what I mean? Even if they do do it, I'm going to still continue to do it because it's a way for me to let them know I love them. But when someone transitions the night of their death, the day that they die, that night, there's some things that you can do to help them. You can give them energy, you can give them fuel, and you can shine a light to light their way. And this is all you'll need. You'll need a white candle. You'll need some honey. You'll need a white saucer or any color saucer that you have. Some fruit or food, some cheese and bread, and some water and a window seal. That's all you need. So on the night of their death, I want you to take that white candle, pull a dollop of honey in your hand, maybe about a half a teaspoon. Rub up and down that candle with that honey. Put that candle the honey coated candle and a candle holder on a white saucer. Put some fruit or food and some bread and cheese on that plate. Okay? Get you a cup of water and light the candle and put it in a windowsill overnight. The light from the candle will light your, your ancestors or loved ones way. The energy from the honey and the food would give them strength for the journey that they're about to take. And I always give some water because you don't know the next time they'll get some. There's a consciousness within the water and the fire and the food that will help your ancestors. And you can do this for them. For them. It won't cost you that much. It won't cost you much at all. But it's a great ritual that I do when I hear anyone dies. I always say a little divine prayer with the substance, like this is for whomever, their name, first and last name. I say the Anima Kaur, the Esdisa Vajaya Dharani, the Body of Light Mantra, and I also say the Ganesha Mantra to help remove any obstacles that they may be, space, that, that, that they be, that they may be facing spiritually. I say the Anima Kaur to help work miracles in their life on the other side. I say the Esdisa Vajaya Dharani to help them financially, and I say the Body of Light Mantra to add light to their soul. And I say the Ganesha mantra to remove any obstacles that they, be, that they may be facing spiritually. I do that for everybody that I know and love in my bloodline. And for those who aren't in my bloodline that I love. I've done this countless times over the past seven years. And um, I just feel as if it works. This ritual was given to me to my, from my master, Dr. Mitchell Gibson. And I've been using it ever since. And I tell the world. And that's why I wrote this video. Because... When people transition, most of the time you feel helpless. You feel helpless. But if you know that there's something you can do or need to do to help them, do it. I'm challenging you all to do it. Because when you do it for so many people, you best believe that people will do it for you too. The same love that you get, the same love that you give, you'll get. The universe, the law of correspondence always kicks in. It's a universal law, family. The love that you give out, the love that you have, the light that you share, you can share it with the world and the world will share it back. You want love in your life, be more loving. You want joy in your life, be joyful. It's just as simple as that. It doesn't cost you anything. Everything that you do is a choice. You're conscious. 
your your consciousness is nothing more than the ability to make a choice. So going forward, I want you to choose to win, choose to use this ritual, and choose to help our transition ancestors and transition loved ones. You know what I'm saying, family? More altars, less problems. And I will tell you something, family. I remember when I was 19, I grayed out Emma Lou Lane, peace of blessings be upon her. She raised me. And when she died, it was the hardest death I ever felt in my life. It was like my mama passing or something like that because she helped raise me. I mean, she taught me a lot. The reason I am who I am today is because my aunt Emma Lou Lane. I mean, she died over 27 years ago. You know what I mean? But uh, I'll never forget all the Jews she's instilled in me, all the help she's given me. And I still be having dreams about her. I still be having dreams about her because she's close to me. I'm burning ancestor money in her name every night. I'm dreaming about her at least once, twice a month. And this is years ago, but she means that much, that much to me. And I'm here to tell you, if you haven't had a dream about your ancestors, when you wake up that next day, family, when you have a good time with your ancestors in the dream world, family, there's nothing like it. It feels so real. And it is real. You know what I mean? So if you feel disconnected, start taking care of your ancestors. You can draw them back in. You can draw them back in, lift them up. My great aunt, she's having a ball. She looked good. Her hair was done. Makeup was on. She was in her 70s, and she was still fine. And when I dream about her, she looked even better. She still looked like her, but even better. She's smiling. In the beginning, they might not be doing that good, but when you start taking care of them over time, they'll be doing really well, family. They'll be doing really well. So hopefully you got some jewels, family. Hopefully you got some jewels on what to do when someone transitions. You don't want to have all that energy. I mean, it's natural to grieve. It's natural to grieve. But when you're at the funeral, give thanks. They ain't in pain no more. You're grieving for yourself because they feeling good. You know, whenever I go up to someone's casket, I don't say it out loud, but I use my divine primordial voice and I say divine prayers. I stare at them. I put my hand on that casket and I either say the divine prayer low or I have it written down and I put it in the casket with them and give them some light. Those are some things that I do that I don't even tell nobody about, but best believe it. If you ever see me at a funeral, you see me slipping in some, some paper in that casket, that's what it is. Some divine prayer handwritten by myself, and I give it to my ancestors or loved ones to help them add light to their soul family. So hopefully you got some jewels on what to do after death, how you can help a transition ancestors or a loved one, what to do to really help them out on their way, okay? So if you want to support me, you can go to Amazon.com, pick up any one of my five books, The Enlightened Talk, Poverty Consciousness, Wealth Consciousness, Dissolving Your Limitations, or Consciousness Equals Choice. Be on the lookout within the next two months for my new book, Information Entities. Information Entities is going to bust your head Ooh, in a good way, in a good way. So that no family, you already know what I'm doing. I'm out here winning. <laughs>